Hi, this is George, and I'd like to give you an overview of George's budget for Excel. Uh, currently, I'm in the Account Summary Sheet. Uh, this program, you can add up to four different accounts. In this column, you would enter the account names. This column here lists the register balances for each of those accounts, and there's also links to go to those registers. Uh, there's a Help section where you can um, find more information about the program. There's also a Reports and Charts section. I'll go ahead and click there. And here you can run various reports and charts of different periods of time. There's also a category list and budget sheet, and I'll go ahead and click there. Here you can create, add, edit, delete, rename your own categories, and you can also set a budget amount for those categories. Uh, for example, I'll highlight this one right here, which is the salary category, and there's $4,000 uh, monthly budget amount set for that salary. I'll scroll down here to some of the expenses. Um, let's take a look at this one. Auto insurance has $100 monthly budget amount uh, set for it. Um, I'll scroll back up top. Let's look at the very top here. And these are the summary amounts. Uh, the monthly total monthly budget for all the income categ categories is $4,000. The total monthly budget for all the expense categories is $2,500. And the difference is $1,500. Uh, for this particular example. Um, it's also good to set a budget because uh, when you run the reports, uh, one of the reports is based on uh, the budget amounts in, in terms that it compares the monthly budgeted amounts to the actual amounts. I'm going to go back to the account summary here. Let's take a look at this particular checking account. I'm going to click the go button. Uh, right now we're in the register and um, as you can see this particular register has a $5,300 balance. Um, up top here, there's several uh, macro buttons. Uh, the ones here to the left and the recategorize button um, basically perform various functions uh, within this register. The four buttons here in the upper right hand side um, basically are navigational buttons that will take you to other uh, parts of the program. Um, below that are the column headings. Um, and within each um, or within some of these column headings there are these drop down arrows and basically if you click these arrows um, these are filter arrows which will allow you to filter the data that meet, uh, based on certain criteria okay so for example let's say that I wanted to um, filter these transactions that are in here in this register and just display transactions that have um, let's say mortgage in the category field. Okay, so what I do is I click this arrow that's in the category field and that list all the um, in alphabetical order all the uh, categories that are in this register. Okay, and I will unselect them all and I will go down to mortgage, select that and click OK. And basically it will display only those transactions that meet that criteria. It will also give you a total of those um, transactions that meet that criteria. Okay, and in the lower right, uh, left hand corner, you can, it will also display the number of transactions that it found. In this case, it found 15 transactions that met that criteria. Um, let me go ahead and remove that filter. I'll click the arrow and click clear filter from category. Okay, um, I'll show you a few of these buttons up here. Um, the new transaction right now um, let's say I'll scroll up here um, and I want to start entering a new transaction well what I do is I just click this button right here and it will take me right down to the bottom and I can start entering a new transaction um, if I want to insert a row there's a uh, macro for that let's say I want to insert a row right above FPL here that transaction so I'll select that cell click insert row and it will insert, uh, excuse me, insert a blank row, um, and it will also let me know that there's missing data in that row. Okay, um, up here where the balance was, it says check balance column. Okay, so it's letting you know that something below here needs to be fixed. All right, um, I'll go ahead and delete that. And I'll use this macro um, to delete the empty row. Okay, and I'll hit click that, and it basically will remove that empty row. Um, Another uh, macro that's really helpful is a recategorize macro. I'll go ahead and click that. If you want to 
uh, for example, change all the categories that say deposit cash back to deposit, you could do that and just click OK and that would change them all and that could save you time instead of changing them one by one by going, for example, here and selecting a different category. All right, so um, the um, sort by date macro, um, that's also helpful. Um, let's say that you enter a new transaction down here and let's go ahead and do that. Let's enter another transaction. Um, I'll click insert date and for purposes of this macro recording, um, the current month and year is March of 2009 and the current date for this um, recording is uh, March 26, 2009. So when you insert a date, it displays the current date and also you can choose plus or minus 30 days from that date. Um, I'm going to choose the 24th okay, for this particular transaction. Um, it was going to be Hess Gas Station and the category is automobile auto gasoline and these are the same categories that you create in the category list um, and then the amount was minus 50 okay um, so um, if you notice that as I was doing that it was prompting me to uh, what to enter okay now let's say that um, notice that these are not in order 25 and then 24 that's where this sort by date comes in handy um, I could click the sort by date and you will see that it will move it above those the items dated 25th so if we'll see that this moves up here so I'll go ahead and click sort by date and it will shift that right up there okay so that's a great feature and the last thing I want to show you um, is the uh, split transactions if you look up here the column headings here the last two are called split group and split itemization off by the split group is a number that's assigned to the split transactions. In this case, this particular split transaction is assigned number 13. Okay, so there are three items that are tied to that one split transaction. Um, this was a particular purchase. I'll highlight this on 325 at Costco for $100. It's entered as a negative um, because it's an outflow, and outflows are entered as negatives here. Also, I use just one column for amounts and not two. Um, it's also identified by split in the category column. Um, what below that are the split itemizations. Okay, those are a breakdown of that $100. $80 was spent on groceries. 20 of that was spent on household cleaning products. So that's really helpful when you run your reports. It's a better reflection of how you spent your money versus just putting uh, all $100 towards groceries, for example. Um, one other thing that's nice if I take that minus 20 and I change that to zero. It will let me know that the split itemization is off and I still need not negative $20 to get this to balance. So it helps you allocate the money as you're doing the split. So I still need negative 20 and I'll enter that in there. Okay, and so it helps you uh, do the split transactions. If I scroll up, you can see here's another split transaction. Okay, and that's split number 12. So you can easily identify them in the register. Uh, let me quickly run a report here for you. I'm going to run actual expenses versus budget expenses for this month. and I'm going to go ahead and click go. Don't forget that this month, the current month for this purposes of this um, demonstration is March of 2009. Okay, and you will see here um, the budgeted is the light blue, the actual is the dark blue. And um, it compares your budget that you set. And for example, restaurant and dining, you can see that we went over budget. Um, groceries here we still went under budget. If you want to see the actual data, click go to report and you can see here restaurants and dining uh, we went over by 4154 and groceries we still have 12111 to spend. Okay, um, There's other reports to run and I'd like to show you those in a different um, video. I'm going to go back to the, I can go back to the chart here and I can go back to the report. Okay, I'm going to go back to the account summary here and that's a basic overview of um, Georgia's budget for Excel.